Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a poll in Microsoft Teams. To use polls in Teams, you need to use Microsoft Forms and you can either insert the poll in a team conversation or you can also insert the poll in a chat. That also means that you can use it in a meeting as well. So let's first look at how to use a poll during a Teams meeting and then we look at how to insert in a Teams conversation. So right now I'm in a Teams meeting and if I need to insert a poll during my meeting, I just need to hover over to the chat section. So I click on chat and within chat, if you don't see the forms icon over here, just click on the three dots, click on forms. This will give you an option to insert a poll. So you need to enter a question. And the good thing is forms automatically suggest you some options. So I'll just say yes, no, maybe, so add all. And then if I want, I can add more options. And also if I want to allow the users to select multiple answers, I can choose this. But in this case, I just want one option. So I'll click next. It'll give me a preview of how the, the poll will show up. And then I can just click send. So now the poll shows up in the chat section. So users during a meeting can go in and vote on this. So I'll say, yes, I do like this video. And then click on submit vote. And that will update the vote number of votes. So this is amazing to use when you are during meetings, you want to ask some questions and get an opinion from people. You can just post a polling question and then get votes from people right then and there during the meeting. So now let's look at how to insert the poll in a Teams conversation. So let me go to a team. I am in a dream team over here. So again, if I want to paste that poll, there is a forms icon already in here, but if I don't have that, you can again click on the three dots and it should show you the forms option. Then just click on forms. Again, I, in this case, I'll just type in the options myself. No, kind of, and then just click next and hit send. So as you can see, it inserted this poll and it's exactly the same how we saw in the meeting. And I can choose this submit vote and that will automatically update the number of votes here. So this is great. I mean, during, if you want to ask something uh, to your team, get some opinions or um, anything you want to take a vote on, you can just use polls and it's super easy to use and you can use it either in a Teams conversation or a Teams meeting or even during a chat with somebody or even in a group chat. So multiple options, wherever you want to use it. Thank you for watching the video. And if you liked it, go ahead and hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe.